afford to cut any more services, any more benefits, because I'm, you know, as one that's paying, I'm paying through the nose now. Yeah. Evidently, something has to happen. I was just curious. Put your mic on. Y'all ready? Okay. Um, it's 131. The Bradshaw County Commissioner will meet the workshop session. It's May 31st, 130. And, uh, Commissioner's uh, County Court Administration Building, Taylor Staff, Texas Avenue, Suite 106. First item is call to order, and the second item is the FY22 23 budget discussion regarding, regarding insurance premiums and contributions. Brenda, is your mic on? It's on. You don't need to touch anything, but um, just, you just have to talk. You might have to move it. I don't think it's going to fit closer for you, but if you could get it closer, so we could just talk as loud as you can. If you get if cl get pull closer to, to you, pull it, pull it to you. Yeah. If the green light is on, it's on. Can you now? No. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Okay. Better. <clears throat> All right. Good, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for having me here today. Is, is that a lot better? Okay. Yeah. Good deal. All right. So, um, you know, thank you to all the servicemen and service women this weekend. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, today, obviously, we're here to talk about the budget, and I, I hope I'm going to make it pretty easy for you. Um, we're going to go through a few slides that uh, are going to go through the experience, how you're running, what the plan's looking like, and then we'll get eventually to the budget uh, towards the end. All right, there's a lot of numbers on this uh, sheet here, but this is your claims experience. This is your medical and your pharmacy all combined. Um, this does not include any of your fixed costs uh, within this particular slide here. Um, what you want to focus on is this little circle number here. Over here, we've got, you know, the enrollment by month. Um, we've got the uh, rolling enrollment by, um, you know, at rolling 12. We've got 
uh, claims for medical, uh, dental, uh, pharmacy, and then all the way over here, every, each one of these little green lines shows the trend year over year. So currently you're actually running at a negative 13% um, trend, which that's wonderful because we don't want to be looking at uh, any positives that, like, like we looked like last year. Right. So your medical and pharmacy, uh, a trend is a negative 13. This next slide here is the medical. It's, it's just medical only. And that trend is uh, also running at a negative 21%. Pharmacy is up a little bit. Um, as it always is, but it's not as bad as where we were sitting last year with the pharmacy. Um, we're only running at a 3% trend. So you're, you're up 3% from where you were 12 months ago today on the pharmacy. Dental um, is down 2.62% right here at the bottom. This next slide just shows a little snapshot. Um, um, this slide shows that 42% of your, your claims, uh, pharmacy, are pharmacy claims. Um, they make up 42% of your over total, all, total overall spend in, is pharmacy, and that's a big number. You know, we have a, a few specialty drugs, and all it takes is one, right, to, to make, you know, our, our pharmacy claims uh, drive up, and which makes this number the, of the pie chart uh, as, big, you know, as big as it is at the 42%. The right-hand side just shows you in the enrollment um, by tier. Uh, you can see in this big dark blue chart, a uh, piece of the pie is mainly employee-only coverage. So the most, majority of your employees take single coverage on this plan. And then you've got about 12% with, with spouse, um, and then you know smaller little pie, pie pieces for uh, children and family coverage. The bottom half here just shows you year over year the budget, which is in the dark blue, versus how you actually ran in the light blue. Um, so back in 2019, you can see you ran a little bit over budget. Uh, 20, or, or excuse me, 19, I can't hardly see. The, yeah, that was 18, 19. I'm you, sorry, is there some, we, could we stop and go back and spend some, I've, I've missed some things here with some distractions. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, that, that was uh, Trudy Hancock and we'll have results at 5.30. My apologies for the interruption. No, oh, you're good. So um, how far back would you like me to start, just with the budget down here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So the, the dark blue are the actual budget that we set each year. That's what we're here for today is to set the budget for next year. The light blue is actually how you ran. So in 2018, you ran a little bit over budget. Uh, 2019, you went over budget again. Um, 2020, or 2020, you're under budget. And then 2021, you're also ran under budget. And year to date, you're running below budget as well uh, through April. So we like the, the last uh, three uh, where we're running under budget. Um, <clears throat> this slide, we always like to show, this just tracks how your, what your network performance is looking like. You know, you're with, uh, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield, which has, you know, the largest number of contracted physicians in the country between the BUCAs, we call, you know, Blue Cross, United, Aetna, Cigna, um, and they get the deepest discounts. So, you know, we have, since 2011 to current, your, your discount was run at about 65% versus the next best discount at 56%. And if you look over to the right head side, that's your last 12 months. So for the most recent 12 month period, um, your plan is getting 67.5% uh, in discounts with Blue Cross Blue Shield. Now these numbers um, account for in and out of network combined. It's not just you know showing you a false number that, of just in network discount. It's total in and out combined. So you're spending you know you're, you're saving 67 and a half cents on every one dollar of spend. Um, under the program with Blue Cross Blue Shield. Down at the bottom, it just shows you, um, you know, how strong the network is with Blue Cross Blue Shield. Um, they're not only strong in the major metropolitan areas, but also in a lot of the rural areas, they're the strongest of, of the big four carriers out there. And so 99.7% um, of all your claims dollars have been paid in the network with Blue Cross Blue Shield, and that's huge. Um, so when you get that network access and that discount, it's, it comes out to, to really big savings.
this little pie chart here uh, is, you know, year over year. We got 19. Um, the top is just the employee employer split between the contributions, you know, and the funding. The bottom halves are actually uh, taking into consideration the co share that the members have to pay. So every time they go to the, the doctor and pay a deductible or a co pay or co insurance, um, th these bottom pie charts uh, take that into account. So for 20, uh, 2021, so far year to date, it's a 79-21% uh, split. So Brazos County is paying 79% of the cost and the employees are paying 21% in their, their part of contributions. The bottom half is um, a 71 split. The employer's paying 71 and the employees are paying 29 um, when you take into consideration those co-share deductibles out of pocket and co-pays. And, and, you know, you've actually been pretty consistent. If you look across the top, you know, in 2019, it was an 83-17 um, split, 85-15 for 2020, 83-17 for 2021, and then 79-21. And, and, and the reason this one, it looks a little off from the previous years because we're just still so early, and it's only data through April. You're well, using the calendar year, correct? Yes. Year to date, yes, ma'am, January through April. That's Thank correct. you. Pardon me. So this next slide I won't spend a lot of time on. Um, this is just your enrollment uh, by month. Um, there's the months over there. It's only through April. It shows you by tier, you know, employee only, employee, spouse, children, family. Um, and so on. And again, that big piece of the pie is all single coverage. Okay. Now this is what we call our income versus expenses page. That the, the uh, bar charts we were looking at earlier with budget versus actual, um, th that's what this will display for us right here. So this is how we're running year to date through April. Um, this is actual. So your total claims plus your fixed is a uh, Five and a half million. The employees are contributing so far 1.162 million, and so the employer expense is a little over 4.2 million, almost 4.3 million. And there's your 79.21 split that we just looked at in those previous pie charts. The middle takes into account the co-share again, um, it, and for that's the 29.71 uh, split, and then the bottom. The bottom uh, represents the budget that, you know, we came out last year and everybody, you know, sat around the table and agreed to, to what the new budget was going to be. This 5.2 is how we're running year to date through April. Um, you know, those fully insured or premium equivalent rates that we set. And then you got your employee contributions. So the total income between the budget we set plus what the employees are paying year to date is a little over 6.4 million. And then our claims plus fixed costs are still the five and a half million. So to date, we're running um, in a nine hundred and almost sixty thousand dollars surplus. So that's a good, nice number right there. Your expenses are, ma'am. These expenses are through April. Yes, through April, January through April. So this is how you're running uh, year to date through April. You're you're running well. Would you like to know how you ran in 2021? You ended up in a surplus uh, just over $2 million in 2021. And if you can see this, you have really amazing eyes. <laughs> um, but really, it's the big picture here is that uh, any, it, these are years, right? years years past i mean this goes we had this data all back for like probably 15 years plus mm -hmm. and so every year that there's something shaded in blue up here those are changes that we made from the previous year before so you can tell we haven't made a whole lot of changes since this is what 2016 up there um, that was a year we, we made some significant changes we made one little change there in 17 and blue um, nothing here and in 18 and 19 and then 2020 we adjusted the deductible up up a little bit because you guys were I mean you have a very competitive plan and so we're trying to get you a little closer to, to benchmark and then uh, 2020 you can see you didn't make any any plan changes and neither uh, did, did you in 2022 and then the bottom 
ones down here in blue, those are basically the budget every year. Anything changed in blue, contributions, um, that's what that is. So it's just kind of to give you a picture of, not, hadn't been a whole lot of changes over the years. And this is math, uh, <laughs> this is underwriting. So this is a tool we use, and I won't go through all of this, but it's just our tool that we use and our underwriters and actuaries come up with these numbers to tell you what, you know, what you're looking like for budget. So that's what this is. And um, I'm gonna cut to the chase down here at the bottom what the result is. All of this up here is the math showing what your medical claims are, your pharmacy claims. Um, you know, they gotta pull out the large claims and then they apply the trend and then they gotta put the large claims back in. And anyway, it gets you to the final result down here. And as you can see, yes, that is a negative number. So what we're projecting, our underwriters have projected, is that the budget should uh, decrease by 9.6%. And I'm gonna click over real quick to the next slide and show you what that looks like. So what we're proposing, you don't ever wanna lower your budget, okay? Cause we don't, you can't, these are all, you know, forecasts, right? And, you know, as some of you know that have sat in these meetings, we have um, a handful of large specialty claims that we don't feel are ever going to go away because they're um, <coughs> medications that are, are taken for prevention of, of diseases and so you're you're always going to have those large claims so it's unpredictable you might have a new a new one this year or two or three so we never recommend lowering the budget uh, your rates are going to be based off of the the nine uh, negative nine percent because they have to be by federal law you cannot charge more than what you know our underwriting sheet tells us the wow. premium equivalent should be so this is just you know showing you flat numbers now you can do what you want to with the employee contributions you know but again we're looking at a negative number um, to the budget so you know we always like to say it's not a bad idea to increase just a little bit every single year so employees get used to that so if you want to follow that philosophy you can just in case we do have a terrible year and the next year you have to really increase you know um, their contributions did you have a question you still have more pages to go through right um or do we want to... yeah i just the dental is all i have we handed out she just flipped there. Can you hear me? Yes. Your hand out. Yes. And there's there's three pages to it. I'm trying to get to it real quick. I handed those out this morning. Yes. Yes. There was just some numbers that we did internal so that questions came up you know, based on past experience. What we did, let's see. Now, okay. this is where I get the Brazos County contributions percent change. Can you talk into the mic? And, and should not And now I can't figure out how to share it. Hold on. It's this Katie. One. I'm sorry? Shouldn't our consultant have the same reports that you? They do, except that they're on a calendar year. You have them? I mean, are you talking about, does she have them in her hand? Yes. I don't know that we've given them to her. I don't her. think she has a copy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brenda. You want me to We're come not trying to exclude you. As we're no, just you're good. Okay, thank you. Trying to give information that we um, yes, no put together just from a county perspective and I'd like so, us all to be on the same page mm -hmm. yes ma'am and I'm trying to figure out how to broadcast it but we don't know how yet I'm sorry I can add a I can do all kinds of stuff but I don't know how to share it this way <laughs> Trevor oh yeah let's try that try dragging Oh. Oh. There it is. Oh, you almost had it. Well, this one? Oh, there we go. Everybody learned something today. Yeah. There you go. Whatever that was, I should have said the same. Yeah. I think we can see it from here. Yeah. So, in preparing the, the proposed budget, 
we saw, I, I kind of saw this and I thought maybe we need to kind of stabilize that employer, our share, our contribution, because we've been kind of up and down, up and down. And so something the commissioner's court, I, we went ahead and put in because of this, an extra six and a half percent into the proposed budget for about a million dollars. What Brenda's saying is that we don't have to. We could lower that. We put in the six and a half to start our calculations because it's been more every year. And so we went ahead and uh, put that in the proposed. We can leave it in there for a million extra, or we can go down on it, or we can keep it the same. Whatever y'all want to do, we just kind of, this chart specifically identifies that up, down, up, down. And the problem with that is, is if you go down, then the next up hits you pretty hard. Or if you don't fund any employer county side increases this year, um, then next year could hit us pretty, but I don't know. It just becomes so unstable. And health insurance can be somewhat unstable as it is. So I just wanted to put that in there while we're looking at right. at the negatives and tell you what we did on the proposed so far. Okay. But we are looking to from for direction from Commissioner's Court. And you plugged in 4% for this year? For 22 or 23? For 23. We plugged in 6.5%. 6.5%. 6 and a half percent. Six and a half percent. For about a million, it's about a million dollars. percent look like and the reason I'm asking Brenda I love the fact that we're in the negative yes ma'am and taking in consideration what you shared with us uh, this is an opportunity to maybe um, do something better for our staff uh, even though we're in the Just negative we're going to have to increase somewhat just to keep ahead of the game that would be down from a million down to six hundred ninety two thousand that much okay well we still have to work on the numbers but you know when you look at the fact that the uh, inflation the care cost of gasoline just to get here mm -hmm. and Daily, we're informed that one of our uh, contractors want to increase their contract because of gas, and we are not going to do that for our employees. But we have to—I think we have to be go easy on on some areas. And I, if we can do it with the insurance, I'd like that. How, however, being one that needs insurance. I know how important it is that we keep a um, healthy, uh, stable coverage for everybody. I think those points are well made, Commissioner. Um, I, I tend to think the four and a half percent makes sense and we could still save a, a significant amount of money. As for me, I would be happy if we just kept things flat with what we've done prior years. If we're showing a million dollar surplus and that's uh, annualized, mm -hmm. yeah. we've got a million dollar surplus and that's annualized and we maintain benefits uh, the same as we have in the past, um, I would be fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that it'd be a, a fiscally very conservative way to do things. And that well, has been the position uh, to, to you, the ladies points over here that a lot of uh, employers are trying not to because of inflation and everything else going on they're trying to stay status quo if they possibly can for their employees so uh, that, but the that would problem be. I see is health care cost is going up unfortunately I've not seen it come down uh, 
you know, I have a medication that I'm paying. I paid $10 last year. I'm paying 15 this year. I don't know what it's going to be the next year, but I know it's not coming down. So, um, and we just need, I mean, I'm, I pray it doesn't happen, but we just need one catastrophic employee uh, health we, incident and a million dollars is gone in a exactly. nanosecond. Well, you do exactly. you do have stop loss insurance too that yeah. protects you yeah. from yeah. Yeah. stop loss. Where does our stop loss kick in again? Um, 200000 and then you have a $60,000 aggravating specific on top of it. Yes, it does, but again, costs are going up. And just so I can clarify, Commissioner Colley, you're suggesting 4.5% on the county side, no increase to the employees? No increase to the employees. Okay. I think that's prudent. If our employees don't see an increase, that's better, but I think we need to be prepared. Yeah. Looks Not like necessarily. Little... We're going to talk about it some more, yeah. Commissioner. Well, the other thing to consider is we are self-insured, so the money doesn't get spent. Right. Even if we budget it. Yeah. So. Right. It's just it's a forecast. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I think it, it forecasts is... you to be negative nine point six percent this yeah, year. Yeah, you wouldn't so have forecast that. I <laughs> can't tell you last time I delivered a negative yeah. number. And we yeah. were very happy. The way about claims are you know going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe some of our wellness activities are contributing to that. Yeah. There's Hopefully. no direct correlation, but I do know that it's nice to see that our trend is doing what it's doing since we're on our, this is our fourth year yeah, it's of making, our wellness program. It's, it's making an impact Something like for that. sure. Yeah. Fifth year. Fifth year. Okay. Wow. That is something we could do would be try to show my job. <laughs> as long as you can. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, we could increase the wellness discount, slightly, to also help for those that are participating in the wellness program. And we do have a significant percentage of employees participating. Mm -hmm. It's like 682 ish or so out of the 827 employees that are on our plan. And when you say I increase, you mean you mean instead of six you mean in you say decrease, but you mean increase the wellness penalty. Yes. Okay. If you wanted to, um, and we still have time to negotiate how we're going to leverage all of that. I mean, we're not making the decision today, are we? No. That's where it gets fun. Yeah, yeah. The fun comes a little later. No, the fun can come now. Um, <laughs> this is where I, I get to um, explain. As you know, we switched from um, budget officer to right. the entire court being it as the budget office. If we don't decide now, or at least give direction in the proposed budget, we put it off until pretty much August. So, and then it gets- it's too late. 10 days. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if we, whatever we put in the proposed, it's gonna be very, very, very tight to change anything in the proposed okay. before adoption. Got um, it. So obviously we would prefer, if you could give direction, that would be great. If you want to come back and revisit it, we can do that in July. We can, um, or even in August. We just it would be better to schedule it so we don't forget. I'm all for having the fun today. Yeah, I don't know that we are either. Wait till next week. Yeah, well, it's just going to get more. This is kind of a we brought in a consultant to help defray. You know? Right. Well, I mean, and it helps us to get a bottom line as well as we're looking into all the increases that everybody's wanting or deletions, creations, all mm -hmm. these new projects. Mm -hmm. if, if we could get one thing kind of set or proposed in a way, it would just be in the budget already. We don't have to worry about the extra million or additional funding okay. to help support this increase. That does make sense. Then I'm going to suggest the four and a half. And so we're going to keep asking too. you to make decisions. Oh, yeah. good. Sorry. I, I, I know. <laughs> I'm all for the four and a half and no no change to the employee contribution. Yeah. Right. Did you understand that, Brenda? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Four and a half percent to the 
four and a half percent employer contribution, no additional employee oh, contribution. Okay, so instead of stay flat on the funding for the employer, you want to increase it by four and a half percent. Correct. And then a zero percent increase to the employees. Correct. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I just wanted to state one more thing that this underwriting, this also takes into consideration your fixed cost um, that we anticipate with the stop loss carrier and with uh, the Blue Cross Blue Shield administrative fees. So that's all inclusive in that negative 9.6 number. Okay. Okay. So four and a half and zero. Yeah. So I calculated 1386 for employees per month. Yes, and did we decide whether to change wellness or not? You heard what, Jennifer? I didn't hear. What, what, are, we what are we currently giving the employees now? $60. What would it look like if we do yeah. 75 The employees who participate in the wellness program would see a slight decrease in their premiums. I think she wants to know total. How much would that cost us? So yeah. 683 times 15 $15. Did you say times 15? Yeah. You said 683 was our participation? Approximately. Okay. 10245 Commissioner. So it wouldn't be a very significant change. It's not. But fifteen dollars is but fifteen dollars. It, but it might be uh, oh times a month. Yeah, it's one hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And we're adding the four percent, four and a half percent. Yeah, six ninety. Six hundred ninety-two thousand. Yeah. So we. We'd so that would bring our save our funding. Yeah. Down to, to more like yeah, three and a half. half. We got any information on how we can enhance our wellness? I mean, as far as our wellness program, by looking at uh, some, just looking at our population of employee specifics to what what we're dealing with that are the health issues that we can uh, most significantly reduce the need for uh, medications. I mean, forty two percent. I think I think that was what we said was our. Uh, Made up uh, forty-two percent. Prescription drug drugs costs. make up forty-two yeah. percent of the total spend. You know, some. If we could orient our wellness program towards helping to reduce the prescription side of it, I mean, the the, the medical is going to be much more of a variable in and of itself. But if we could, whatever we can do to incentivize people, as far as our program is oriented towards helping us decrease the use of medicines in our uh, health care, that would be great. For sure. Um, we, so we actually work with TAP on that, with our TAP wellness program. So okay. we have programs targeted yep. to high blood pressure, diabetes, weight loss, weight right. loss, all of it. Right. Um, and so we actually monitor our population compared to those who participate and try to see the overall outcomes. We're not going to see individual outcomes, but um, right. we have asked for Yeah, 683 is not a big population. <clears throat> is there, I can't imagine that we would be all that different than the major population of what tax looking at anyway. Sure. Uh, we'd probably be representative. You know, I would just uh, encourage you all, if we're going to increase our wellness, that we also go ahead and look into programmatically what we can do to help uh, uh, do those things because our drug costs still they weren't the same as our medical claims and uh, that that may be something that we can do on our medi on, on our uh, on medicines and in order to be able to have that wellness be more effective just a Com thought commissioner um i think jennifer has done a great job of trying to get uh the staff informed and inviting tech and I would 
encourage her to maybe work at getting more. The, the motivation has to come from within. Yes. And as a diabetic and other things, but diabetic, I've learned that the more I take control of that, the less medication I'm having to do. And that's I think for you're spot everybody. On. I that's, think you're spot on. I think that, that's exactly what I think Yeah, that's into. for everybody. It's not just me, but when I know that my blood sugar is high and I don't need to eat certain things or drink certain things, I can control that. So I think more education is all I'm saying. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we can have people buy into the programs that you're offering, the, the services that you're offering. Yeah. But it's definitely got to be self-motivated. Yeah. The wider the menu we have for our participants, the better. But we can only drink, put, put the water there. We can't get the horse to drink yes, it. That's so right. true. So true. So we're talking about increasing the monthly to 75 from 60 yeah. and using the 4.5%, which the net differential between the two there is going to be about 400. 400 how much? Um, dif differential, if you increase their wellness, if then we don't have we, we have to take over the right mm -hmm. that okay. 176 so, that's hundred hundred seventy seven thousand dollars would it be a cost to the county so you wouldn't you add that to the 692 or take it from it well i'm, I'm looking at including that in the four and a half percent oh but that's maybe, 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 maybe we don't half. want to do that that's something different yeah okay we don't want to do that in the four and a half percent or well, that that would bring probably bring it down to three and a half percent or three percent. What would if we if we if we're increasing five hundred and twenty thousand? Uh, what kind of percentage is that? Hold on, I'm still back on his. Okay, I got too many numbers now. So the differential well, is 500 and something. Okay. Yeah, okay. 520. And so that's about uh, six and a half. That's what, three, 3.25, because a million, six and a half was in a million. Half of that, about 500. So that would be 3.25, 3.5. Yeah. Right. If we netted it out. Yes. And only went up the employer, three and a half, and went up wellness, I, I think we, 15. We, we pass along the incentive more, mm -hmm. it becomes more of passing mm -hmm. along an incentive mm -hmm. to our employees than it becomes just paying additional, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. I, I think it's a great idea. And I do One of the reasons I was asking if we were coming back is because we'd like for you guys to work those numbers out for us so we'll be exact and we're not, you know, just guessing. Understood. Yeah. Please. Yeah. And, and, and everybody out there that's an employee of Brazos County just keeps staying healthy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. Like I, don't, I don't ever remember looking at trends to where we saw that type of uh, in our medical no, I seen and, like this. I don't and remember, Brenda said I don't remember there seeing are, that. <coughs> we, yeah, we are our own program. I mean, we, we talk have the, the maximum mic. penalty. Sorry, can you hear me? Um, our own internal program with USI, we, we put in the maximum penalty we can possibly put in. Solid, so I mean, yeah. it just, if I don't go take care of my physical, and as a matter of fact, my doctor called me on the way up here to give my blood work. <laughs> but um, if I don't do that, I get charged 30% in, you know, in penalty. And right. so that makes me go every year. It makes, mm -hmm. my, makes me make my husband go every year. Mm -hmm. And I remember Mark talked about that quite a bit. Yeah, we, yeah we're too. super aggressive uh, wellness program. Yeah. I mean, hey, if the, people who, if the people who bring us the numbers and manage the numbers and advise us on how to manage yep. the numbers say that that's what they're going with, mm -hmm. I think that makes even and, more sense. And we get, I mean, we have over 8,000 employees now, and we get um, about 85% participation 
and that's including spouses, employees and spouses. So that's a great target. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So for future number, we'll put in three and a half percent because we can't fine. see the wellness in the budget. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And that, that, yeah. Thank Employer you. Employer only, no employee. Wellness will go up 75. Yeah. 275. Okay. Yeah. That's what I heard. Okay. I mean, ultimately, we're passing along this better experience projected mm -hmm. onto our employees. Right. Uh, I'm, I think that's a great way to go. Yes, and I hope they realize that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You yeah. Know. If they don't get a wellness exam, does that preclude them from getting the uh, wellness that's part of the wellness program they have yeah. to, have their wellness to get the discount in case anybody didn't hear that by September 30th <laughs> form turned in thank you Katie <laughs> Take that message. yeah so the, for the first budget workshop it wasn't too bad well uh, dental, well, dental's the last piece. Shouldn't be. This should be pretty easy. Um, we also got a um, negative projection for the dental of uh, minus six point four percent. So, again, just like with the medical, I mean, I suggest you just either stay flat um, since it's running so good, and it's dental. It's you're not going to produce the same big numbers that you do on the medical. Okay. We're we're not fully insured on our dental. No, sir. No. Okay. We're self -insured. We're self -insured yes, sir. Self-insured on our dental treatment. Well, then everybody keep brushing and flossing. <laughs> okay, that's true. It is, it's a yeah. employee only. Employee only. Okay. But you're paying the you're contributing paying the claims, yeah. Gotcha. The PSA today is brush your teeth. So again, recommendation not to de drop six point four percent, but stay flat mm -hmm. um, on the budget. I, I use the dental program, and I think that's reasonable. Costs have gone up, but thank yeah. God we have some insurance. We didn't, I don't think on this agenda we posted. Do you have anything else, Brenda? I, I do not. I, I don't think we posted public input on this one, Judge. We will that and other budget topics on mm -hmm. the future workshops. Okay. Great. Do we need to ask for public input? I'm sorry? Do we need to ask for public input today? You posted for I don't think we posted public input. Oh, okay. input. I'm <laughs> trying to keep, the, you know, look, minimum the and then expand. The <laughs> translation lacks something down on this end. I understood. I did not hear you clearly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Okay, and then this piece that we got on effect on lowest utilized per step. That was for? That information, Commissioner, was if in case we were looking at an increase on the employees. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. We're relevant. trying to project your questions. What we're, what we're targeting <laughs> towards now, this will be irrelevant. Yes, sir. Thank you. And Teddy, you did a great job. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you, you to you and Nina. so simple this time. Won't always be that way, but. I know. <laughs> we'll try. I've left this meeting with lots it's of headaches. It's always good to start with it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah.